the Philippines touted as second best investment destination for renewables in Southeast Asia report. The Philippines is the second best investment destination for renewable energy, RE, in Southeast Asia with resources that can generate up to 3,000 gigawatts, GW, and a highly liberalized active spot market, according to a report from HSBC Global Research. In deciding the rankings, the independent research house considered the entry barriers and regulatory environments of six Southeast Asian countries. The two parameters were believed to have effects on reinvestments. HSBC Global Research said the Philippines had a relative score of 2.5, second only to Vietnam which got 2.8, but better than Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Thailand. It said the Philippines has a medium range of solar or wind resource availability of up to 3,000 gigawatts, but had a fragmented market with local players such as Aboides Power, Manila Electric Company, and AC Energy Corporation. Aside from policies that support renewables, the country's active wholesale electricity spot market is said to be highly liberalized with partial retail competition. The spot market is a venue where electricity can be traded as a commodity. In its report, HSBC Global named the Philippines as one of the three countries that led the first wave of recapacity growth in the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, region last year due to its attractive regulatory environment. This time, the next growth wave of renewable energy will be more evenly spread out across the Southeast Asian region, but improved regulations and declining equipment costs are the two major forces that will drive more inclusive development in the region. Our analysis shows that governments are either in the process of defining policies or have already stated clear regulatory policies related to renewables to attract further investments, HSBC Global Research said, highlighting the Renewable Portfolio Standards, RPS, program in the Philippines. The RPS program requires distribution utilities to get an agreed portion of their supply from eligible reef facilities. HSBC Global Research also noted the spectacular fall in the cost of equipment used in building renewable energy projects. Solar module prices in 2020 were 89% lower than a decade ago, and are forecast to drop another 27% by 2025. The price of wind turbines in 2020 was down 41%, MIN, 2010, and is expected to fall another 18% by 2025, it said. Renewables in four Southeast Asian countries, including the Philippines, will be the cheapest source of power. HSBC Global Research said that levelized energy costs for solar and onshore wind are projected to decrease by 2025. Based on Bloomberg and HSBC estimates, utility-scale solar projects have a levelized cost of energy of $62 per megawatt hour MWH, in the Philippines and this will go down by 16% to $52 per megawatt hour by 2025. Meanwhile, the country's cost of onshore wind projects is at $93 per megawatt hour, and the level will decrease by 22% to $72 per megawatt hour. HSBC Global added that other costs in renewable projects are likely to marginally come down. Green financing may help bring down borrowing costs, while technology advancements in solar and wind farms can help firms trim labor costs and reduce outage periods, it added. Energy Secretary Alfonso G. Cusi last week invited U.S. firms to invest in the Philippine energy sector, particularly in renewables. During a virtual economic briefing on bilateral relations with the U.S., he urged American firms to take part in the department's Green Energy Option Program, GEOP, and the Green Energy Auction Program, GEAP. The GEOP allows users consuming at least 100 kilowatts of power to source their supply from retail energy suppliers that generate electricity from renewables, while the GEOP allows qualified re-developers to offer their output to the rest of the power industry.